Bro, eat. <gasps> eat. Good boy. Good boy. Brutus is nine months now. About 75 pounds. Still on the raw diet. This is a two and a half pound pot roast. Got it from Stop and Shop. It was on sale for four dollars a pound, so better than it usually is. He eats about two and a half pounds of meat a day. Some days, like today, I just give him one large piece and let him consume that, and that meets all his needs for the day. I do also give him alfalfa and kelp powder that I got from Learbird Kennels. They sell those supplements, and I mix those with fish oil. I'll chop up meat, mix it with that once or twice a week. I probably should do it more, but it's more of a hassle than just giving them the meat to eat. But extremely healthy, no issues at all. Like most people, I was unsure of the raw diet initially, but I'm very happy with it. Besides the fact it probably cost me seven to ten dollars a day to feed him, but it's another story. Some people put out ads on Craigslist and Facebook for freezer burned meat. And they go around, they try to find people that are either giving stuff away or they can get it for very low cost. I haven't done that yet. I probably should. Just because um, he's nine months. I've had him on this diet for seven months. And it is rather costly. When I look at the long term numbers of feeding him this type of diet with human grade meat, I don't even want to know what the, <laughs> the 10 year cost of this would be. Is that good, Brutus? Is that good? Oh, good boy. I'm lucky enough for him to be able to take him to work with me every day. This is actually part of our paver display. Um, at work, inside our office, I have a refrigerator. And I have that filled with his food, so, I mean, it's a little tougher if you have your dog out places and you know you don't have a place to keep the meat cold. But luckily for my situation it works out well. Like I said, he's probably about 75 pounds now. I'm just taking this to update the earlier videos I took when he was about two months old. When I first started him on the raw diet, he was just a tiny little thing with posted ears. And like a lot of people said about the raw diet, it really teaches them to chew their food. You'll see dogs that have just had kibble their whole lives, and they inhale anything. Because he's used to the, the bones in the chicken, and especially because this, this pot roast is rather large, he's forced to chew it off his pieces. And it works the, the jaw muscles, the neck muscles, in a way that kibble does not. Don't drop it in the gravel. Hey! That's what I don't need is him to break his tooth on a rock. Here you go, eat. But he's got to be obstinate. Hey, stay over here. Come on, bro. Eat. Go eat, come on. That was a large piece. I'll probably just rinse it off and save the rest for later. I'm not sure if he wants to eat the rest 
or he's intending to do what he does occasionally with his leftovers. Bury them in soil piles. We sell soil, so he's got the natural instinct to bury the meat so it doesn't spoil. And uh, I've witnessed him do that on more than one occasion. This dog's funny because he usually likes to eat in privacy. He goes to the bathroom in the privacy of the woods. You usually never see him do his business out in the open, which is good. I never have to clean it up. Where are you going, Brute? Good boy. Good boy, boys. Are you going to eat? I think people have some misconceptions about this diet, thinking that it will lead to more aggression in the dog, taste for blood. Um, I have not seen either of those things in the slightest. This is one of the most gentle dogs I've ever known. It's never growled at anyone. He'll occasionally bark at strangers, but never anything more than that. You can pet him while he's barking. He likes everybody. He doesn't go after animals, doesn't kill animals. Likes cats, although they don't usually like him. So yeah, if you're thinking about the raw diet, definitely do your research. It is a commitment. Just Google the barf diet. It stands for biologically appropriate raw food. Some refer to it as bone and raw food. So that's it. I definitely think everyone should at least look into it. If it's right for you, try it. Because I have a very healthy nine-month-old Doberman now because of it. Well, I'm happy I made the decision. Right, Brutus? <gasps> right. Good boy. Say bye. <laughs>